What's up, enthusiasts? Today I've got a couple packages for you from the folks over at Banggood. Now, normally I would do this on a Monday, but this is somewhat time sensitive as they wanted me to let you all know that from November 1st to November 11th, they're having a sale on their website. Now, this is a website that has recently started adding Nerf products, not just Nerf products, but they also have a bunch of other stuff. So if you are looking for some sales in the beginning of November, definitely check them out there. Thank you to them for sending me a couple packages of stuff. They got in contact with me and asked uh, if I would like to review some of their Nerf products. So I went ahead and, and searched through their selection and picked uh, picked a few things out. And let's, let's go ahead and, and get into those. And I will have links down below to all of the items and the sale details. Uh, that you see here today. So the first package, whoa, well, there goes something. I think that was an invoice. We have got a couple nice worker boxes. So you guys know I am a fan of worker magazines. So we have in here, if I can get it out, a clear 12 dart PMAG, which uh, this is maybe not as like crystal clear as I thought it would be compared to the, the Worker 22s. So let me get this tape off of here. We'll actually pull it out. It is, it's like, it's a, it's like slightly tinted. Like if you compare it to a, a Worker 22, it's not as clear. It, it's, it's almost, yeah, it's a little bit tinted. Uh, the top is crystal clear. This has a bit more of a bluish hue to it, but this, just so you know, is a little bit, a little bit tinted, a little bit different. Uh, not necessarily a bad thing, but just something, something to know. I do like how clear it is up here, though, and I just love, as usual, the worker quality. Now, this I believe is, yes, the same, but in orange. I love these magazines. They are becoming I believe my go-to and I've wanted to see which one I like more do I like the orange or the clear uh, there's also the option of you know if you really want to go go big you can swap off these butt plates and uh, kind of have your own little little touch little flare whatnot but there's something else there's another reason that I got these to have in the video today with this, and I believe that will be in here, uh, something relevant to them. But let's go ahead and pop this open. All right. Let me pull out invoice so we don't have that flopping around here. And I should just leave the knife open. I don't know why I keep closing it. Ooh, that's a... That's a good amount of, I, did they just send me another one? I think they sent me more than I asked for. Well, that's, that's nice of them. So yeah, another, now this is the worker, or not the worker, but this is the F1055 version of the PMAG, and it is a longer version. So this will hold more darts. Uh, it is a different brand. It doesn't have the removable bottom piece here, but similar construction. Otherwise, you can pop open any of these to do your maintenance and, and keep things intact and nice. Um, I do like the kind of purple pink. I wish they did offer just straight pink, but hey, you take what you can get. Um, if you upgrade the follower and switch to a thinner follower in the 15 round version, you can get an extra dart. Uh, so you can go with something from like a uh, that Russian Merc, he does some custom followers. These you can actually put a couple extra darts in, though I did, I was told recently by Nick Rari that you can actually run into issues if you push 14 darts in here. I had, I had not heard of that prior, but apparently the springs can have issues if you go up to 14 darts, so be aware, maybe only go to 13. Uh, but one of the big appeals of these is that you can fit more darts in it because the followers are so slim. Uh, but let's let's open up the rest of these goodies. Let's see what else we've got here. All right, we've got metal worker flywheels. I've been super curious about the, some of the metal flywheels to see 
how they perform in compared comparison to some of the other offerings I assume these will probably do a little bit more damage to darts as they are metal and uh, they are textured so we'll see they're actually they're lighter than I expected um, these actually feel lighter than some of the other flywheels I have so that's kind of impressive my whole thought behind metal flywheels would be that they'd be heavier uh, they'd be heavier so that you know you can use that momentum uh, to prevent some of the drag or, or slowdown rather between shots on like full auto systems so like the flywheels are so heavy that they just keep spinning even though you know the dart is pushing through them so that that was my thought but those actually aren't that heavy so uh, I don't know I may have to weigh those and see exactly how heavy they are but that is let's, let's pop it since you guys can kind of see this let's pop this open this ooh this is a, so it's a 3D printed stock. I wasn't sure if it was going to be injection molded or 3D printed. It's a worker uh, F1-055 uh, combo stock. It is nice looking though. I love the line right here. Um, unfortunately, I'm assuming this is part of a kit because this means this, this bump right here isn't going to sync up with some of the other blasters. Like if I grab a strife right here and we pop this on there is that little bit of gap right there but it's it's actually it's not that bad it's not as bad as i thought it would be um and honestly i may i may add something onto this to get it to sync up because it is going to go on the fabu strife i believe so we'll see but i just i love the way that this stock looks I thought it was super cool I wasn't certain if it was going to be adjustable it looks like it would be but since it is 3d printed it is just one solid piece so keep that in mind uh, when you're taking a look at these things is see if you can notice whether they're 3d printed or injection molded or if they do actually have the options or features that you thought they would even though this isn't adjustable I, I like it I dig the way it looks and I'm glad I'm glad I have this. I've wanted a nice looking stock for a while now, and that is certainly one. Let's see, let's let's get that out of here. What else is in here? Honestly, oh, th this was this was part of the reason that I got these. Ooh, that's actually that's like a rubber, like a hard rubber or polymer or something. But this is a like a, a mag pull kind of quick quick pull thing. So it goes onto these. P mags on the bottom and it replaces the butt plate and it just gives you a nice finger grip a finger hold that like so if you're sitting in your rig you can just grab with your finger easily or, or gives you something more to grip onto when you're pulling your mags out of your gear and that is a pretty cool option something that I, I wanted to have one of these before I ordered a bunch I want to test it out and see if I do like them I'll probably be getting a bunch painting them pink and putting them on, if I go clear, putting them on these. Uh, that said, I don't know how well these actually take paint, so I might have to uh, nix that idea because they are they are flexible, like which is actually really nice because if you're dropping your mags, this gives something to land on and not take you know take the brunt of the impact rather than the magazine itself. So I actually that makes me more inclined to get some more of these outside of just the, you know, being able to grab them as a loop and pull them out. That's, that's kind of a secondary function now that I know that these are, are rubber and they'll, they'll take some of the impact, I think. I think I'll probably test it as much as I, I don't want to sacrifice one of my PMAGs, but I, I will, I think that's something I will do. So let's just pop, let's leave those open. All right, last little thing here we've got. Now, I tried to select like a kind of a, a variation of products. There we go. A worker flywheel cage, that metal flywheel cage. I've wanted a metal flywheel cage for a while now. I'm going to have to see if this is a good one or not, as uh, the worker flywheel cages have been known to have variance issues where sometimes things just don't line up properly. Uh, so I'm going to have to ch check that out and make sure before I go and put anything into these and potentially run into any problems. Hopefully this is a good one because, I, like I said, I've wanted a metal cage for a while now. Um, 
to be able to run in some stuff, just kind of cut down some of that vibration noise. And they're just, they just look nice. They just look nice. So that, that is something nice to have. That is everything that we got from Banggood, the folks over at Banggood. Thanks again to them for sending all this my way. Again, I did not expect to receive this much stuff, but uh, I appreciate it. And I, as I do, or as I've started to do with companies that send me things for review, I also will be placing an order with Banggood to see what the experience is like as a consumer, a customer, uh, not as someone just doing a review of their products. So I will be placing an order. I'll let you know how long it takes, uh, what the quality of the shipping was, all of that stuff when I pay for my own order and get that stuff in. So you can look out for that as well from them. And one more time, thank you to, to Banggood. Go check out the sale. I know I'm gonna be checking out the sale uh, when this goes up, the sale will be live and seeing what the deals are. I may be getting some stuff that's not Nerf. I may be getting some Nerf stuff, but I just want to let you all know that that is a thing. If you can save some money and get some stuff you want, definitely do that. And uh, let me know what you thought of the products here today. And if you've had any experiences with the Banggood, let me know about that as well in the comments. So that's going to do it. Thank you so much, everyone. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you all next time.